हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जर्नी विद विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द टॉपिक इमेस्कुलेशन एंड पॉलिनेशन इन कॉटन हाइब्रिड सीड प्रोडक्शन बिफोर प्रेजेंटेशन लिटिल इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट माय सेल्फ आई एम विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव आई हैव डन एम एस एग्रीकल्चर विथ स्पेशलाइज इनोनॉमी फ्रॉम जी बी पंत यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंतनगर इन नाइनटीन एंड प्रजेंटली एसोसिएटेड विथ सीड इंडस्ट्री सो लेट्स मूव टू द प्रजेंटेशन First to know what is emasculation removal of male organs stamens or anthers or killing the pollen of a flower without damaging the female reproductive organ is known as emasculation in bisexual flowers while hybrid seed production emasculation is a essential process for the prevention of self pollination In some crops hybrid seed production like cotton okra chili tomato etc emasculation process is followed to make female sterile in cotton gms based hybrid seed production there is no need of emasculation but manual crossing is done now pollination the moment of pollen from the anthers to the female stigma by wind by carrier or manual transfer is known as pollination pollination or crossing is essential for seed set and therefore crucial in seed production now manual crossing in case of hybrid cotton seed production pollen transfer from male plant anthers to female stigma is done manually it is followed in hybrid seed production of the crops where emasculation is done in cotton gms based hybrid seed production manual crossing is done without emasculation process now to study types of hybrid seed production in cotton in cotton hybrid seed production is done by two methods first one conventional hand emasculation and pollination method and second non conventional method where genetic male sterility system is used and in this case there is no need of emasculation here to study about conventional method of hybrid seed production in cotton majority of hybrids released so far are conventional hybrids development of such hybrids involves three steps first one identification and growing of male and female parents male parents means restorer line r line and female parents means a line second is emasculation of female parent a line where the male organs are removed from flower because cotton is a bisexual flower third pollination of female parent with identified male parent r line cotton is an often cross pollinated crop the average outcrossing is about 6% the pollen is heavy and sticky and hence cross pollination occurs only by insects like honey bees and bumble bees here we will go through crop and process stages while hybrid cotton seed production it is divided in two types first one is field stages second is processing and testing stages under field stages it covers from sowing germination seedling vegetative stage a square formation stage after that flowering where emasculation and pollination process takes place after that ball development and bursting and picking stage from sowing to picking a stage are coming under field stages after that processing activities are there like ginning delinting mechanical cleaning manual hand picking sampling dispatches and testing and results of the produce here we have shown the pictures related to hybrid cotton seed production during field stages it starts from sowing to picking after picking the processing plant activities took place where we have to ready final produce these are the few field snaps of cotton hybrid seed production where the agronomic management is playing very very important role for the growth of crop field snap of cotton crop during hybrid seed production from seedling stage to flowering stage 
Here we have represented the floral development of cotton flower. It starts from a square formation where it shapes of pin head square. After that it converts to match head square shape. After that a square growth midpoint. Then it took shape of candle and then white blooming. As cotton hybrid seed production is concerned, emasculation and pollination process is very very important. So while emasculation, the bud size selection plays important role. When the buds are in candle shape, then we have to go for emasculation process. Here to study the floral characteristics of cotton flower. As cotton is a bisexual flower, it consists of both male and female organs. Ovules, bracts, petals, stigma, style, filament, anther and ovary are the part of cotton flower. Out of which stigma, style and ovaries are female organs and filament, anthers are the male organs. As in conventional hybrid cotton seed production, emasculation is a very very important process. So in emasculation case, all the bracts, petals and male organs, filament and anthers are emasculated and only female organ stigma is left which is pollinated with male pollen. Crossing or pollination work should start only after complete vegetative growth which generally takes 55 to 60 days from sowing. Remove flowers in early stage to get complete vegetative growth. If the crossing starts without complete growth, the development will stuck and ultimately it will result in less ball setting and less crop yield. So crop should be allowed in beginning for optimum growth after which we can go for emasculation and pollination process. Now we will go through emasculation process in details. There should be selection of appropriate size of flower bud which plays important role in cotton hybrid seed production. Checking for inadvertent retentions of anther during emasculation. After emasculation, the anther should not be left out on stigma part otherwise it will result in self-pollination. Avoiding damage to female parts during emasculation. Emasculated buds are marked with red color polythene rings for easy identification during crossing on next day. The best time for emasculation is 3 to 6 pm and we should avoid poor emasculation to achieve best quality seed. A strictly removal of inadvertent self pollinated balls and open flowers are important. On a regular basis, we have to check if there is any self balls formation or open flowers are left in the field, so it should be removed. After that, we have to follow the caution that there should not be emasculation in the morning hours. As emasculation process is done before pollination, so if we are going for morning emasculation, there are chances of pollen bursting inside the buds due to high temperature in morning hours which may result in self-pollination and it will contaminate the purity. During emasculation, generally the dog method or thumbnail method is followed. An incision is made at the bottom near calyx. A circular shallow cut is given so that the corolla petals, stamens, tube, surrounding style come off. Using nails of thumb of both the hands, the staminal column along with anthers and attached petals are removed.
इन डिफरेंट प्रोडक्शन लोकेशन डिफरेंट मैथड्स आर यूज वाइल एमेस्कुलेशन इन सम एरियाज आफ्टर एमेस्कुलेशन द फार्मर्स आर टैगिंग विथ थ्रेड्स टू आइडेंटिफाई द इमेस्कुलेटेड बर्ड्स नेक्स्ट डे फॉर पोलिनेशन पर्पज आफ्टर पोलिनेशन दे आर रिमूविंग द कॉटन थ्रेड्स इन सम एरियाज फॉर द आइडेंटिफिकेशन फार्मर्स आर क्लिपिंग प्लास्टिक सीट्स विथ हेल्प ऑफ पिंस एंड आफ्टर पोलिनेशन दे आर रिमूविंग द पॉलिथिन सीट्स इन सम एरियाज प्लास्टिक रिंग्स आर यूज वाइल इमेस्कुलेशन बट दे आर नॉट रिमूविंग द ब्रेक्स वाइल इन सम प्रोडक्शन एरियाज दे आर रिमूविंग ब्रेक्स एंड यूजिंग द प्लास्टिक रिंग्स एंड दिज प्लास्टिक रिंग्स आर रिमूव आफ्टर पोलिनेशन नेक्स्ट डे मॉर्निंग दिस पिक्चर रिप्रेजेंट्स द प्रिकॉशंस टू बी फॉलोड वाइल इमेस्कुलेशन द इमेस्कुलेशन शुड बी परफेक्ट एंड नो एंथर शुड बी लेफ्ट ऑन एस्टिग्मा अदरवाइज इट विल रिजल्ट इन सेल्फ पोलिनेशन नाउ वी विल गो थ्रो पोलिनेशन प्रोसेस इमेस्कुलेटेड बर्ड्स आर पोलिनेटेड द नेक्स्ट मॉर्निंग विथ द हेल्प ऑफ मेल पेरेंट्स एज वी एस्टिड इमेस्कुलेशन इज डन इन आफ्टरनून आवर्स थ्री टू सिक्स पी एम एंड सेम इमेस्कुलेटेड बर्ड्स आर क्रॉस्ड पोलिनेटेड इन अर्ली मॉर्निंग आवर्स द बेस्ट टाइम फॉर पोलिनेशन इज एट टू ट्वेल्व ए एम डिपेंडिंग ऑन टेम्परेचर कंडीशंस बिकॉज द स्टिग्मा रेसेप्टिविटी इज मैक्सिमम ड्यूरिंग दिस पीरियड जनरली फोर टू फाइव बर्ड्स आर पोलिनेटेड बाई वन फ्लावर ऑफ मेल पेरेंट क्रॉस्ड बॉल कैन बी आइडेंटिफाइड बाई द अबसेंस ऑफ ब्रैक्स एंड विजुअली कैन सी फॉर्मेशन ऑफ रिंग एट द लोअर साइड क्रॉसिंग वर्क टू बी इफेक्टिव इन रिप्रोडक्टिव फेज फ्रॉम सिक्सटी डेज टू वन ट्वेंटी डेज जनरली टू मंथ्स क्रॉसिंग पीरियड इज रिक्वायर्ड टू गेट गुड इल्स देर शुड बी अवॉइडेंस ऑफ बॉल डेवलपमेंट इन मेल पेरेंट अदरवाइज देर विल बी शॉर्टेज ऑफ फ्लावर्स एंड पॉलन अवेलेबिलिटी बिकॉज ऑफ विच द क्रॉसिंग वर्क विल बी अफेक्टेड फॉर इमेस्कुलेशन एंड पोलिनेशन एट टू टेन लेबर्स आर नीडेड इन कन्वेंशनल हैबिट सीट प्रोडक्शन हु आर वर्किंग फॉर एट आवर्स पर डे वाइल इन केस ऑफ जी एम एस बेस्ड हाइब्रिड फाइव टू सिक्स लेबर्स आर नीडेड हु आर वर्किंग फॉर फोर आवर्स ए डे फॉर पोलिनेशन इन जी एम एस बेस्ड हाइब्रिड सीट प्रोडक्शन देयर इज नो नीड ऑफ इमेस्कुलेशन एंड ओनली पोलिनेशन इज डन इन मॉर्निंग आवर्स सो देयर इज लेस लेबर रिक्वायरमेंट There are various methods for pollination used in various production locations. In some production locations, direct male flowers are used for the crossing, where the male parent flower is rubbed to the stigma of female plant. In some areas, the pollen grains are collected from male flower and it is kept in plastic caps, and the stigma is directly touched to the pollen grain male pollen grain powder for the crossing purpose in some cases the collected pollen grains are filled in syringe and the stigma is inserted in hole of the syringe and it is crossed with male pollen powder in some areas the pollen grains are collected and the stigma is pollinated with cotton cloths to the stigma so there are the various methods which are used for pollination this picture represents the steps involved in emasculation and pollination process first we have to select the appropriate bud size after that we have to remove bracts then removal of petals then we have to remove the all stamens anthers and male organs after removal the emasculated bud should be marked with plastic rings and then while crossing in next morning we have to remove the plastic seeds rings 
and it should be pollinated with male parent. Quality checks should be done while emasculation and pollination period because this is the suitable and appropriate stage. Here we can observe the any differences in floral behaviors, the colors of petals, colors of stigma, any difference in size of buds, any differences in male pollen or anther color or any pigmentation. So if there is any deviation to the characteristics of parents, it's the plant should be rocked out and proper precautions should be taken to avoid any contaminations at this stage. For the pollination purpose, the male flower is collected in morning hours. So here also the quality check should be followed. We can cross check the any differences in male flowers anther color or pollen color or size of the buds are different compared to the original one. Immediately it should be rocked out and such doubtful male flowers should not be used for crossing purpose. This picture represents the full fledged crossing period of the cotton hybrid seed production. After pollination, there will be ball development stages. From crossing to full development of balls and bursting will take approximately 45 to 50 days. After ball development, there will be bursting stage after which we have to go for picking. Picking refers to the manual collection of seed lint from bursted balls. Kapas should be collected from fully opened crossed balls. And there should be regularly collection of fully bursted crossed balls. After that, there will be post harvest operations. Post harvest handling is the stage of crop production immediately following harvest including drying, cleaning, sorting and packing. So this presentation was all about emasculation and pollination process in cotton hybrid seed production. Hope this will be very very useful to all of you. Now my presentation ends here. Thank you very much. I have given here my YouTube channel details journey with Vijay Kumar Srivastava. Having request, please visit the channel, subscribe it and provide your kind and valuable feedback for further improvements. Thank you.